Please join me in welcoming Dale Moore, the Chief Operating Officer at Davidson Technologies. Hi, Dale. Hello, Dale. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. You as well. Okay, so now I am an operational commander. Okay. I feel so, like I need to salute you, Alan. I, I don't know what uh, to do here. No, please, please don't do that. <laughs> um, well, you can if you want to. <laughs> so, so, Dale, I'm, I'm an operational commander, and you know, I, I worry about things like threats and you know, how we can neutralize them with various interceptors. And I know that you've been working on applications related to missile defense, and maybe you can kind of walk us through that. Absolutely. So, Alan, as an operational commander, the first thing that you care about is your, uh, your readiness situation and your mm -hmm. posture against those types of threats. So what we have here, um, first, uh, let, me, let me introduce uh, the Davidson developed Decision 1 application uh, that will leverage D-Wave systems as we run this optimization problem set. The first thing I want to say uh, is that everything you're going to see here is notional and unclassified. So I want to set that uh, stage real, real quick. What you see here is uh, a, a threat situation. Hawaii is, is uh, being... Um, aggressed upon, and uh, we are preparing uh, for an operational scenario to defend Honolulu, in this case against a series of threats. So we're going to go to the modeling aspect. By, by the way, for those of you who are watching closely, you'll notice that Dale is not touching the keyboard, but Brad <laughs> here in the front row is touching the iPad. I don't know, Dale was nervous about running the application himself, so he had to bring support, but that's okay. They didn't want me to screw it up, Alex, right, exactly. so this is really important for our company. Um, the first thing is, uh, this, is a mo this is the modeling input that we're going to uh, set the stage for the scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one is our defended asset is Honolulu, as I mentioned. Um, this is going to be a very simple scenario to start off with. Uh, we have one uh, uh, launch point we're going to leverage uh, with a, a couple of what we call medium-range ballistic missiles uh, as the threat scenario. We're going to move into next the uh, parametric inputs that we can uh, modify to set kind of the operating conditions degradation cap uh, of capability, things like atmospherics, um, heliospherics, um, as well as performance effectiveness. So we're going to leave everything as it is right now at a very high level of effectiveness with really no degradation uh, in the capability. And we're going to run this scenario very simply. Uh, this is now reaching out to the D-Wave uh, quantum annealer. Uh, with our algorithms uh, running an optimization problem, this is what we call weapon to target assignment optimization. So what you're going to get back here in a minute as we scroll down, is a solution provided by our algorithms with your system uh, uh, driving the processing, basically showing a, uh, a scenario where uh, we've optimized how the weapons align to the targets. Uh, we've got a 99.9% .9 probability, probability of kill hmm. of those uh, uh, targets and threats, and, and Honolulu, thankfully, is at a 99.9% .9 survivability. So that's great, Dale, but this was easy peasy. <laughs> what about the real world? Well, Can we maybe take a look at that? The real world is very different, Alan. Uh, you know, these, these uh, threats can be very complex. The system itself, uh, when you think about missile defense and all the components of it, targeting, tracking, uh, engagement, it's all very complex. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the complexity of the scenario itself. We're gonna add two long-range ballistic missiles here. We're gonna increase our interceptor uh, 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 fold to, to, to 10. And uh, we're going to go ahead and rerun this same scenario. Uh, before we do that, we're going to modify the parametric inputs. We're going to decrease the effectiveness yeah. of the More interceptors. Yep. We're going to add some atmospherics. Uh, rain, uh, solar flare activity has an impact on performance. Uh, now we're going to rerun the scenario, re again, reaching out to the D-Wave system. As you can see, it takes a little bit longer. Yeah, uh, but not that much longer. Nope, it is a quantum computer. That's right. So the solution provided here, again, optimizing what we have from an interceptor, the location of those interceptors and the location of the threats, uh, increasing that to four. You see the probability of kill went down just a little bit, uh, as well as the, the probability of survivability in Honolulu went down a little bit. Again, this just showcases the fact that there are very complex scenarios here from an optimization perspective. As, a, as an operational commander, you want to know what's the most uh, realistic solution and a most optimized solution yeah. 
that you that you can deliver to protect uh, your your both That's fantastic, your country and your yep, troops. Yep, this is great, and you you can imagine as this starts scaling up, this is a massively complex problem. It is, and think about from a solution perspective. The first scenario we ran it had over four thousand possible solutions. This second scenario had over sixty-seven million. So as things get more complex, it is really important from our perspective to leverage uh, the best processing capabilities in the world and, uh, and optimize the solutions leveraging Davidson algorithms in support of our warfighters. This is fantastic, and we're thrilled to be working with you and proud to be a part of it. No, thank, thank you, you, Alan. Appreciate your time.